the Holy Spirit, we gain a renewed hope. I'm grateful for the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Now, I love God the Father, who's just, right? Who's loving, who's wonderful. And I know about Jesus the Son, right? I know all that He did. Who He went to the cross for me, right? He, he died, was buried, was raised again. He's sitting at the right hand of the Father interceding. But let me tell you something. There's another part of the Trinity that wants to minister to us. And when He ministers to us, it gives us hope. Gives us hope. And that's the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people don't know about the Holy Spirit and People start talking about the Holy Spirit and they, they have all kinds of questions. Well, let me just tell you that there is no greater power in all the universe than the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit is first introduced, it's Genesis chapter 1 and verse number 2. It says, And the earth was without form and void, and the Spirit hovered over the face of the waters. It was the Spirit of God that was active in creation. I want you to get this today. It was the Spirit of God that was able to create light where there was darkness where he was able to create stars where there was nothing he spun hallelujah the galaxies into place he's the one who created the beauty of nature oh come on somebody that's the spirit of the living God that's able to give us hope you say why is that important pastor it's important because there's some of us today that we face obstacles in our life that are so big it's not like it was 50 years ago in the days of leave it to beaver hello it's not like it was even 25 years ago there's people today who are facing obstacles that are huge doctors reports and family problems and heartaches and burdens but I'm here today to tell you that there is a God amen all parts of him amen there's one God father son and spirit and the spirit of the living God is completely powerful enough to make a difference in everybody's life. He can bring hope where there doesn't seem to be hope. He can bring help where there doesn't seem to be help. He can renew us. I love Titus chapter 3 and verse number 5. It says He saved us. <laughs> Anybody grateful for being saved? Not on the basis of the deeds which we have done in righteousness but according to His mercy. The washing of regeneration. How many of you know you can't even get saved if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit? He's the one who brings us to Christ. He's the one that does the work of regenerating us. That means making us new. We're born again by the Spirit of the Lord. And it goes on and says, and renewing by the Holy Spirit. You follow his ministry down through the, the ministry of the Holy Spirit down through the Scripture. Not only was he active in creation, but he was active all through the Old Testament. He came upon prophets and priests and kings and gave them supernatural power to do incredible things. He gives us hope. Romans 15 and verse 13 says this. It says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. And look at this last phrase. So... So that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Let me tell you, there's a lot of people who've lost their hope. I'm not talking about Christians. Some Christians have lost their hope. That's why they have no shout. That's why they have no victory. Listen, the Holy Spirit wants to renew us. He wants to give us hope. And how many of you know that life has a way of trying to kill our dreams. Am I right on that? Sure. In the, and there's a, there's a, a, a movie, a play, I'm not even sure how you say it, Les Miserables. How many have ever seen that movie or play or drama? If you've never seen that? Come on, you can raise your hand. Thank you, one person. Well, all right. In the musical version of that, one of the ladies who's gone through such a desperate time having been forced into prostitution, having to sell her hair, her teeth, her body, having had a child out of wedlock, losing her job, and having to place Cosette, her, her little daughter, in the keeping of some cruel and crooked innkeepers. She sings this song, and this is what she says, I dreamed the dream in days gone by. Now life has killed the dream I dream. There's a lot of people that feel like that in the world. 
that life has killed the dream that they had. And so you want to know what the world does? They turn to other things. They turn to this or they turn to that. And it just seems like the dream of, that they had it was, it has just been destroyed. Listen, you and I as believers in Jesus Christ, we have got to be able to offer the people that walk through the doors of this church more than just the enticing words of men's wisdom. Am I right? The persuasive words of man's wisdom. Let me tell you something. The gospel that we've got to be preaching in the house of the Lord has to be in demonstration of the Spirit of God and of power. There's got to be, a, uh, there's got to be the, uh, us pointing to a God who has a powerful enough way about him a spirit that's able to intervene a spirit that's able to make a difference a spirit that's able to bring people amen back to their right mind back to sanity come on somebody and I'm telling you today without being shy about it that I preach the power of the living God amen he's able he can do it all amen he's able to do it all and let me tell you, when you get in contact with the Holy Spirit, you can't be discouraged. Amen? Because He's the giver of hope. Amen? I see a church, amen, today that God wants to give hope to, that we might abound in hope. And people, you're going to have so much hope, you're going to be walking down the street, people are going to stop you and say, what are you smiling about? What is wrong with you? Why are you so happy? I'll tell you why I'm happy. I've got hope in the Lord. Amen. I've got hope in my God. I've got hope that He can answer my prayer. I've got hope that He can save my children. I've got hope that He can heal my body. I've got hope that He can restore my relationships. I've got hope that, that, that when I make amends, it's going to work. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. The Spirit of the living God renews us. And you say, well, how does all that work? Man, I don't really know exactly. All I know is that when you're with the Lord in praise and worship, and when you're with Him in the Word, and when you're with Him in solitude and stillness and quietness, all of a sudden you're somehow the Spirit of the living God makes an infusion of hope into your life. So you get up in the morning and you say, good morning, Lord. I'm expecting something great today. Amen. Would you stand with me today? Amen. What a joy to preach the word to you today. Amen. Be hopeful today. Be hopeful. The Lord is with us today in this house. Amen. Amen. The Lord is with us today. Could I get you as the praise?